syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson, who's a syndicated radio host on Compass Media Network. So CBS News first breaks this, and now it's been confirmed by our own James Rosen. Uh, and the headline of CBS was they've uncovered documents showing that the that State Department may have covered up allegations of illegal and inappropriate behavior within their ranks. Investigations influenced, manipulated, or simply called off at the direction of the higher-ups within the State Department while Hillary Clinton was in charge. I mean, if this is true, and this is not just CBS from a leaker, this is CBS looking into Inspector General reports within the State Department, uh, this is not good, Lars. No, it's not good at all. Hillary Clinton would like to be president of the United States. She's the odds-on favorite to be the nominee in 2016, and it looks like she couldn't even run the State Department. I guess there are two ways to interpret it. You could look at it and say that she knew what was going on, and people below her ordered that the investigations be quashed. That wouldn't be a big surprise in the Obama administration, since they seem to have a scandal every other day popping up, and since the cover-up machine seems to work pretty well, at least until the rest of us start looking into it or she didn't know what was going on in her own state department immediately under her involving both as you said diplomatic personnel and security personnel and that people below her were carrying out orders that she never gave either interpretation does not seem to uh, really vet her well or fit her well as a potential presidential candidate for this country a former member of the IG inspector general's team within state spoke out to uh, CBS News Leslie and said this is not the full screen for our control room by the way and and said to CBS News, we were very upset. Her, she went on the record. Her name is Aurelia Fed, Fedinism. It's a toughie. Uh, she said, we were very upset. We expect to see influence. But the degree to which that influence existed and how high up it went was very disturbing. I mean, shutting down investigations into a man, uh, one of our ambassadors, accused of soliciting prostitutes and possible pedophilia, something he denies. Oh, we use your yes, but this ambassador also had been spoken to by Washington, and and you know whether we have uh, we don't have any criminal charges against these individuals, and I think it's preposterous to uh, for us to suggest the State Department would do that. Lars, I mean you know nobody's going to beat Hillary in 2016. You guys are just getting worried in advance. The bottom line is there's no proof that any of these individuals, and and in the world we're living in right now with transparency, I would expect one of these prostitutes to have their own talk show by now. We would. Have video. We would have some evidence. Could an ambassador video? say to the security oh, detail, "Hey, get away! I want some time in the park, or maybe even have an affair"? Yes. Is that criminal behavior, or is that behavior he was slapped on the Leslie. wrist for? Some of the investigations you can't, started. But you can't and why rectify, did they end? Perhaps these people are innocent. You can't rectify alleged pedophilia by a talk with the boss. I mean, that's a, if that happened. That's no, a crime. you can't. And he denies it. And the, 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 but Look, the point is that they were investigating. It's it. alleged. That's right. And what you do yeah. when there's an allegation is you investigate it, and you have to investigate it uh, a with the crim with the police but b lars internally i mean if this is a state department you know that's right employee they, they have to look into well, it listen, what, the, what it, they're saying here is that they were looking at the ig was looking into it and, the, yeah. and it was called off you know, exactly, and that's what Leslie is missing. If she wants proof that it either did happen or assurance that it did not happen, you have to investigate it. That's the offense. Leslie, I agree with you. If somebody's going to be accused of a scurrilous crime like uh, child abuse, raping a child, a child prostitute even, that, that you're going to have to have proof. But if the people at the top shut the investigation down, you're never going to get the proof. And that seems to be exactly what's going on. Just remember, this is the same Secretary of State who helped try to cover up the Benghazi murders last September. So she's well suited to that kind of activity. Plus, she has decades of experience of trying to shut down sexual escapades by her husband oh, while he boy. was a candidate for, uh, for lower out. You know, what? any she woman would try to shut down sexual of, escapades you, by her husband. So well, that, that's, that's not so well, controversial. I know, but, You're but talking about media coverage there. That's oh, why she, in any event. I, I understand. Okay. You Let know me move that's on, why though, she Leslie. sent her brother out on the campaign All trail right, with him. Okay. Let, let me move on, because I want to show you the polls when it come to, comes to Hillary Clinton as they stand today. Um, mm -hmm. This is Gallup. Today, she's got a 19% mm -hmm. favorability rating over the, I mean, it's 58% favorable, 39% unfavorable. So that's pretty good. But mm -hmm. look where it was mm -hmm. just in April. Um, she's, had, she's had a significant drop, where she used to have a 64% approval. And then look at the Bloomberg poll, worse. In December, 70% uh, said she was doing a favorable job or had a favorable opinion. Now it's just 58%. Uh, it's been a significant swing. 
and 47% say they disapprove of the way she did handle Benghazi. So she's taken some hits in the polls. This is all under mm -hmm. her watch. And I want to leave, I want to give you the question this way. There was a draft inspector general report generated from within state and it was mm -hmm. ultimately scrubbed of the reference I am about to read you. This is what that draft OIG report concluded, quote, the OIG team heard of instances where high level department officials may have once or twice a year brought pressure to bear to improperly halt or influence investigations, including into allegations of serious criminal mm -hmm. misconduct. Leslie? First of all, one thing about the Clintons is they know how to win. And Mrs. Clinton, uh, former Secretary of State, Senator, and First Lady, doesn't want to lose it. This is her last shot. Let's look at her age and be realistic. She has also, for decades, when you talk decades, Lars, spoken out against the treatment and mistreatment of women. She is a strong feminist. She's also an attorney. I do not believe in any, that there will ever be any proof uh, showing that this woman had any knowledge of anything like this or would try, get off your grassy knoll, my love, I missed you, but come on. The, the bottom line is that absolutely will be Leslie. no link to Hillary Rodham Clinton. I'm confident Even if of she that. Didn't and know the about approval it, Lars. ratings were lower for Obama and he still won. Even if she didn't know about it, Lars, if she didn't know oh. about it, that's going to be a problem too. Yeah, it is. She can't run the State Department. She can't run the country. And if you want the ultimate poll on the mistreatment of women, ask Juanita Broderick about get some ice on that lip and those comments and whether or not Mrs. Clinton has been a strong feminist. You know, she gives nice speeches, but the fact is in her own life and her own conduct, I don't think she lives up to it. And if you're telling me that she can't detect things that are going on below her or she allows her subordinates to shut down investigations so that she won't have a talking points memo problem later on or in 2016, that doesn't really speak well of her either, does it? The State Department says all Charges the cases mentioned in this report are thoroughly being investigated or were investigated. The department continues to take action, says Jen Psaki. She does not mean to imply that they're completed. Some are in the process, but the department would never condone any undue influence on any investigation. We will see where oh, this one goes. Oh, of course not. Panel, thank you both. <laughs>